Android Wear has long been one of the best wearable platforms on the market, but it's also not the only one. I've had a soft spot for Pebble for years, with the tactile feedback being a major highlight. Now that the latter is pretty much gone, I was hesitant to move back to Android Wear. That is, until I met the Gear S3. Is Samsung's Tizen-powered wearable the one for you? I'm Ben with 9to5Google, and let's take a look. So first things first, let's talk about the hardware. This smartwatch is without a doubt one of the best pieces of hardware I've had the pleasure to wear, but it's not without caveats. This is not a watch for anyone with a small wrist, but if you like big watches, it's kind of perfect. The included 22mm silicone band on the Frontier model is also very comfortable, and you can easily swap it out with any other 22mm band if that's what you prefer. And you can't talk about the Gear S3 without talking about the bezel. Samsung's rotating bezel is one of the most unique, but also most sensible input methods we've seen to date on a wearable. Combined with the buttons along the side, navigating Samsung's interface is easy to get used to and feels a lot more natural and comfortable compared to touchscreen only options. Samsung's Tizen is a feature packed OS, but it works really well on the Gear S3. Everything is well optimized for the circular display and the features you need come up when you need them. We go further in depth on this software in our written review, but in this video I'll highlight my two favorite features, Samsung Pay and the various health features. Now Samsung Pay on the Gear S3 works with any Android smartphone, and while setup can be pretty annoying, it works pretty well. I had some issues with my bank that caused it to not work reliably at all locations, but the card reader always recognized Samsung Pay, whether it was using NFC or MST. Plus, the feature is easily accessible by long pressing the top button on the watch. As for health features, the Gear S3 is packing pretty much everything. The heart rate sensor works well, the watch tracks stats like calories burned, steps taken, and you can even log your water and caffeine intake. It's great for tracking walks, runs, or any other workout. Performance on Samsung software is also excellent. Over the weeks I tested the watch, I never had any issues with lag or dropped connections with my phone. Battery life is also pretty solid, and Samsung says you can pull four days out of this watch, but I found myself limited to about two days with the ambient display on, and just under three days with that feature turned off. Luckily, charging is quick and easy with the included wireless charging dock, and I usually found myself just putting the watch on the dock at night, because it also works well as a bedside clock. So at the end of the day, the Gear S3 is a fantastic smartwatch across the board. It offers great hardware, solid features, and the tactile input methods that work well with the software. For me, it's the best alternative to my Pebble, and at $349, it's not priced out of the range of other premium smartwatches. Now, if you want to learn more about the Gear S3, head to our written review linked below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, be sure to follow us on social media for the latest news, and you can follow me on Twitter at NexusBen. Thanks for watching.